The student survey tool enables the teacher to get instant feedback from students during or at the end of a lesson. You can find this with a pie chart on the left-hand navigation bar. Once you're in the survey option, you'll notice a few options up top. First is the question option, which will show you any recently asked questions that you might already have or questions from a pre-saved survey list. You can create multiple lists to be able to define questions for specific topic areas. So if you're teaching units or lessons and you want to have questions already pre-saved, you can do that in the survey list. Let's go to new and create a new question list. We'll call this math questions. Now any questions that I create down below will be saved to that specific survey list. So let's go ahead and create a question. What is 2 plus 10? Now I need to put responses. You can have between 2 and 6 responses and you need to put a comma between each of the possible answers. I'm going to give students five choices. Go ahead and click send. That question has been saved to my math question survey list, but it's also been sent out to these students right now. You have the option to start a class without connecting to students and create your surveys in advance in that support school before students actually arrive to class, something you can do during a prep period or other available time. Now that the question has been asked, let's see what it looks like. Students are going to see a question box appear and they can give their answer. Let's go ahead and respond for a student. Now that each student has responded, let's go back and look at their answers. So we can see here that 66% of the class answered correctly, the answer is 12, and 33% answered incorrectly by saying 11 instead of 12. I have my students auto-grouped by who gave what answer, which is very helpful when you have a larger class and you want to break down very quickly who gave each answer. It also means I can work directly with that specific group of students to provide feedback if the answer was incorrect. By unclicking auto group, that removes the grouping and it puts everyone back together in the main group for the entire class. Now I can also share the results with the students by clicking on show results. Here the students will see a pie chart which will show them the percentage of students that gave each answer, but will never give them which students gave what answers. This helps so that students are not called out, but then you can discuss out loud what the correct answer was without embarrassing students who may have answered it incorrectly. I can go back and I can print a copy of the results so I can compare notes between classes, and I can also save a copy to my student journal if I have that activated for the time being. Note that with your survey list, these save as .sul files in your NetSupport School folder. If you are working with other teachers who also use NetSupport School, they can send you their survey files and you can save them in the same folder so that you can access their questions they've already created in their survey list. So you are able to share those files with each other and maximize your usage of NetSupport School by doing so. When you're done, Click Cancel Survey. This will clear out the survey question, and you can begin by asking a new question either on the fly or from the drop-down menu that you have with pre-saved questions.